weather update. Weather update. It was hot it's earlier. It's gonna rain. It no, was hot earlier. Nice. That's nice now. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today we are uh, talking about if it's worth in 2021, almost 2022, very close to 2022, buying a Nismo 350Z. And the short answer is yes. Video ends. Good job, everybody. Thank you for coming. Like and subscribe. <laughs> so we have uh, our buddy uh, Guillermo G Money's G -Money. Nismo. 350Z. He doesn't want to be in shit, <laughs> but Don't he's there. <laughs> um, he came up on this Sick. incredibly nice 08 Nismo 350Z 753. We just talked about introing it in the other video if you've yes. seen it. If not, I will link it up here. Basically, um, long story short, this car has got 99,000 miles on it. It's an 08. It's got suspension, full bolt-ons, E85, wheels, uh, tune, uh, running about 320 wheel, yeah. all that stuff. Uh, it's basically it's sick. It's it's set up, and it's and it's it's set up well enough to still be a everyday usable vehicle, and be incredibly sick. Yeah, without any hassle. Like, there's no hassle on these. You know yeah. I mean? So the the question then is, is it worth it to buy one of these? So his purchase Over. price. Over potentially over an HR, HR a, DE, a DE, definitely don't buy a Revolver. An older, you know, whatever, whatever 350Z you're looking at. So let's talk about purchase prices, right? Yes. So any HR that you find right now, unless you are really lucky at an auction. That's true. Or, but, but auction cards are usually problematic. That is a thing. Yeah. You know, or you're buying, happens. or you're buying from someone who doesn't know what they have. Yeah. Or whatever the case, you're basically going to um, say 18 million. I would say I would say 15. 15 to 18. If you're at a dealer. Yeah. If you're at a dealer, it's definitely gonna be higher. Yeah. yeah. So if you're looking at an HR that let's say it's a 0708 and is basically somewhere around 15, 16K, and this at the time was 20K, maybe is now more like 22, 23K. You have to ask yourself, are you going to be using the performance differences, which stock for stock is a little bit. Once there's, you start modifying yeah. the car, it starts to get a little negligible. Are you collecting the car and planning on keeping it for a long time, which, which Guillermo are, is. Which of you are definitely he's, does help a lot. I he's think. planning on keeping this car for as long as the other lady doesn't hit him. <laughs> indefinitely. Basically. Yeah, so let's <laughs> knock on wood. And uh, <laughs> knock on 350Z bumpers. <laughs> Bro. Come on, man. My so, um, I would say in that case, Yes. Definitely. If you're looking at a car like this with 20K when he bought it uh, about, what, six months ago? Yeah. yeah. Six yeah. months ago, yeah. maybe worth 22, 23 now. I would say easily that this car is going to be worth 30K in two or three years. Yeah, it's definitely going to keep going. With it's the rate of inflation. And, and when that is, in fairness, that is talking about a modded example versus a bone stock Nismo will be worth more currently. Yeah, a low mileage standards. bone yeah. stock Nismo will be worth more. Yes. But in my opinion, What's the fun in owning one of those if you're not going to modify it? So that's fair, but equally, I mean, you look at stuff again, like we were just talking about the Nismo 270R, the Nismo 400R. Those are fantastic examples of things that, in fairness, were a step above what this is as a Nismo car. But something like that, you can see, yeah, maybe not necessarily doing something. Yeah. So if you are planning on modifying the absolute crap out of the car, maybe you should consider getting yourself a DE or an HR, yeah. not a Reva, because you'll just pull the motor. Um, and <laughs> just using the money that you save at the $8,000 range yeah. and spending 14 k on modifying the car and making it an absolute monster. Well, that and, you know, even if you're looking at, if you're looking at just a straight collector item, you're only going to be in the market for pretty much a factory fresh one. There are people like that. It's no problem. I would definitely be in the market for something like this because I like to change stuff because I think I know better than people. I don't. But anyways. I, I would pers <laughs> I personally like to modify everything I own. It's and just a lot of I fun. wouldn't consider getting something as a collector item unless I already had a fleet of vehicles. That's very so fair. for me, everything has to be a bit of a driver's I, vehicle, yeah. and you want to use it. I would not buy an unmolested low mileage Nismo unless I was planning on literally not driving it. Well, you know, we actually had this conversation with Integra Type R's. I'd much rather buy a salvage Integra Type R that was just salvaged from theft because then it's already got a salvage title. You can do whatever you want to it and not feel bad about it versus buying the pristine 
example that you look at and it's sick. Yeah. But you look at it and it's sick, and at the end of it, you don't take it out, you don't drive it, you don't do stuff. And this is and this is also the question when you know. So this is the part of the reason why I bought my 350Z from Indy. It's also because it was for sale. That's another reason you bought it. I, I bought it because it was for sale and it's convenient. It was <laughs> literally sitting in the driveway already. It was already here. But I wanted to modify <laughs> the crap out of it, that, and that's how I am. I like to head to toe, do everything. So yeah. when it comes to a Z like this, that's a little bit higher mileage and has been modified. Has some stuff. In, in my opinion, it has been modified well. It's been modified in the correct direction. In the Definitely. correct direction, yes. for sure. Um, do you, is the price worth it? I think so. In my opinion, yeah. I think Guillermo got a really good deal. I think you got a killer deal. Like honestly, like it's. it's I think I think you price. got a killer deal, and yeah. I, I think six months later you got an even better deal. You know, it's like yeah. it's. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's a killer killer car. I, it's very safe. Yeah, I like I, it a lot. Um, I'm glad to even be able to be around it. Like yeah. it's, it's. Well, there, there's that little bit of like prestige about being around stuff like that. You're just like, ah, oh, sick. Exactly it's right. This. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Which is yeah. super sick. To me, I mean, to me, this is like the equivalent of an Integra Type R show. Oh well, no, it is. Yeah. It, it is. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Yeah. So if you like that type of heritage things like that this is something you should absolutely consider i mean you know when i sold that to you the only thing in my head on it when when if i get another 350 it's either going to be that one again from you and come back to me or it's going to be in this one that's really which is it. entirely possible if i pick up a q60 in the future i probably will sell this car back to and then i'll have my 350 back and yeah and then it's all good but like yeah. that's and, why he keeps pushing me to keep the wing on the car i keep pushing him to put the wing on the car or keep the wing on the car because it's sick and he doesn't know what he's talking about so yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah, Long story short, if you uh, are in the market for a 350Z and you have the money to spend on an Nismo and you like the way the Nismo body work looks do it. and you're planning on keeping it for a while because do it. it's going to go up in value, just do, do it. it. Just do it. Just do it! <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams! Don't let your memes be memes? Don't let your memes be memes. <laughs> let us know what you guys thought of the video in the comments down below and if you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell and we'll see you in the next one. And we appreciate you guys.